welcome. What I want to do is put together a video of me spray painting and sponge coating my horrible looking FDE KRG Bravo. I love the KRG Bravo, but I hate FDE. So I bought this used for a pretty good price and I decided to sponge coat it or uh, paint it. So first thing you're noticing it's vertical, um, the, the, the butt end. So that's literally just a screw to the bottom uh, through a piece of plywood just to make sure it stands up and the clamp that you're seeing just to make sure everything kind of stays together. So I'm not, so I can turn it easily and then, um, you know, not have to lay it on the ground or on the cardboard. So it ends up being more gray than black, but that's literally a high temp black that you use for a barbecue grill. It doesn't need to be high temp. It just was cheaper at the store. Next one I'm using here is uh, gold. Uh, don't ask me why I picked gold. I literally just all I had, and it's actually not even mine. It's my wife's crafts room. I just ended up using it because it was something I thought looked look cool and it had like flakes in it as well. Um, I will literally put this on with the sponge, the scotch Bright sponge. The one thing to know here is that it's probably better that they're not squares um, cut as opposed to circular. The circulars, I think, blend a lot better. So to each your own. For me, when I go through the video, you'll see that I'll use more of a circular one than than this square one. Maybe a combination of both is best, but anyway, just want to throw that out there. It does make a difference. You do see it a lot better more if it's square than circular. Circular seems to blend better. All right, enough about that. Um, so I'll do this, and then after this, I'll do the blue, the wood stain that's in the middle uh, towards the back of the camera or, or the video. And that's literally a wood stain that I had from leftover from some woodworking projects I did. Literally, I'm just grabbing anything from my garage. At the end of the day, the only thing I, I purchased here was a clear and the high temp black because the only thing I didn't have at home. So I, I would suggest to do the same, you know, I mean, um, whatever. I just, I didn't want to spend a lot of money and I didn't know how it was going to come out anyway. And I didn't know what colors I wanted to use. So I thought if I was going to buy colors and it ended up coming out crappy, I was in like 30 bucks in spray paint. So anyway, here I'm just putting on clear. You say, why is he putting on clear? He still has to do the red because I saw the red in the beginning. Well, the red, where it ended up being is I didn't realize I wanted the red until after I was done. It looks, so, I think it looks awesome here, but I didn't feel like the gold popped enough. So I figured I want to do something and I had red laying around. So I used this red spray, automotive spray, the wrap red I had. And I use that towards the end. So what I ended up doing is I ended up sanding this down from 1,000, 1,500, 2,000. I don't need to show that. Everyone knows how to sand. And then wet sanded it. And then from there, cleaned it off. And this is what you're looking at here. Me putting it in on the red after I sanded it down. So I obviously, if I would have planned it better, I would have not had to do this part um, and would have done it before the clear. But you know what? To, it just it just happened this way. I didn't know how it was going to come out. And I figured I wanted to pop a little bit better. The red made it look awesome, in my opinion. It, it with the gold and the blue and the black. I know you don't have to use five color or four colors, um, but at the end of the day, it, it's all I had, and I think it ended up looking pretty good. So we're almost to the end of the video here. Here, if you like it, please comment, um, subscribe. I'm start trying to start out this channel, and it's just something of a hobby of mine. You know, ever since we're all been shelter in place, shelter in place the last month here. Um, I do other videos as well, grilling, uh, other rifle builds I've done in the past. I'll start posting up on, on YouTube. But anyway, long story short, um, hope you guys like it, girls. Um, please subscribe. And this is towards the end of the video. So uh, I appreciate you guys chiming in. The whole build took me about a day, just so you guys know. And there's a the final product. All right, everyone. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Bust the grill.